done. There are few in the world like this. In Colorado, they have found a dead squirrel that tested positive for the bubonic plague. Now, we talked about... I would like to know why they tested the dead squirrel for the plague. I would love to know that as well. There's nothing like, in the article about it. Did somebody just um, scrape a squirrel off the road and say, let's test this thing? Right, so here's... Here's what it says. Uh, Public health officials have announced that a squirrel in Colorado has tested positive for the bubonic plague. The town of Morrison, Colorado, in Jefferson County, which is just west of Denver, made the announcement saying that the squirrel is the first case of plague in the country this year. Plague is an infectious disease caused by the bacteria Yersinia pestis and can be contracted by humans and household animals if proper precautions are not taken, officials from Jefferson County Public Health said in a statement released to the public. It is possible for humans to be infected with the bubonic plague through bites from infected fleas and by direct contact with blood or tissues of infected animals, such as a cough or a bite. Uh, There's all sorts of other stuff that it talks about, uh, different symptoms of the plague, which is sudden onset of high fever, chills, headache, nausea, extreme pain and swelling of lymph nodes, uh, et cetera, et cetera. This is absolutely insane. It says that the risk for contracting the plague is extremely low, but is this not insane? We just talked about whatever the new swine flu thing was. Uh, ben said, I think we have antibodies for these. Yeah, probably so. But this is just fitting for 2020, and I had to make sure that we threw it in here because it's the freaking bubonic plague. Like, why would this be in a squirrel in Colorado right now for any other reason other than murder hornets and COVID-19? I just, once again, my question is just, I, I want to know how they randomly tested this. And is it because somebody put the plague into the squirrel? And then they were like, with the tracker, and when this tracker dies, we got to go get him? Yeah. Um, the CDC says even though there is no vaccine for the plague, it can be treated successfully with antibiotics if caught within 24 hours of existing symptoms. Now, symptoms can take anywhere from two to seven days to pop up, but apparently... Antibiotics, you can fix it. It says, arguably the most infamous plague outbreak was the so-called Black Death, a multi-century pandemic that swept through Asia and Europe. It was believed to start in China in 1334, spreading along trade routes and reaching Europe via, uh, excuse me, via Sicilian ports in the late uh, 1340s. So, uh, it killed an estimated 25 million people, which is slightly different than what we are dealing with uh, right now with... uh, with, you know, well, so it's but... a little history lesson for folks about the plague. I know this. They thought this is where science does something and then actually makes the problem a lot worse because they don't really know what they're doing when we're learning about these things. They thought the plague was spread by cats. And yeah. so they killed all the cats. And really, it was spread by mice and rats. And with and them the cats, cats all gone. Yeah, them cats did not have to die. Substantially worse. Yes. Yes, so they, they messed up a little bit. Uh, Michael jumps in. They love their weed in Colorado. Absolutely. Uh, Monster X Gaming 652 on Twitch said, I like cheese sticks, and brother, so do I. Uh, Michael says, Morrison is beautiful, though. Red Rocks Amphitheater is up there. Yes, that is a beautiful area of the world. I have not gotten to go to Red Rocks, but I've had friends that have played Red Rocks. So, uh, yes, I've seen pictures. I've seen videos. It is fantastic. Matt Miller said, I really think we're living in a simulation. I know it sounds crazy, but all this happening in one year has to be one in a billion. Yeah, that's kind of why I brought this up, right? I mean, it's just insane. Uh, Joseph said, damn, those symptoms sound like what most people feel after four shots of fireball. (laughs) That's true. That's true. Uh, Ben said, there was one in Yosemite a few years ago. I did hear about that. Uh, Ben said, that's what environmental scientists do. They study dead rodents. Damien said, thanks, China. And Matt Miller said, well, this one didn't come from China, but... Back in the 1300s, yeah. Uh, Matt Miller said, oh, so we should just suspend travel to and from China indefinitely. Eh, no. Like, it, I got friends that went over and, like, interned in China and stuff like that. It's it's good to be able to travel and see different cultures and whatnot. I'm we a big believer in travel. It didn't say forever. I know, but I don't, well, I guess, okay, indefinitely. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. So, yeah, right now, nobody needs to go over there right now. No, not right now. But I, I don't think you can. Any, you know, Travel restrictions kind of all over right now. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I think it's that. I mean, I guess it is suspended right now, right? I'm okay. I'm okay with the word indefinitely. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But now better. forever, I don't I don't believe in 
forever because I think people should travel. They should see yeah. everywhere. So, uh, with that done, we will move on 